Hello everybody, welcome Hi. to another Planet Coaster Workshop Wonderland. So I'm here today with Lisa Bowens, who is a senior artist here at Frontier. I almost forgot where we were working, just in my head I was, I was thinking Planet Coaster, Planet Coaster. But yes, I'm Shante, I'm a community manager here, and today we will be showing off some steampunk builds from the Steam Workshop, which I'm super excited to show off because I just think they look really cool. Yeah, whenever we've seen steampunk stuff in the past, it's always been definitely the most challenging builds and me thinking like, how did you do that? <laughs> I think steampunk builds, I don't know, it's something about all the like cogs mm -mm. that are in the builds that are just super cool. It's intensely satisfying. Yeah, they just look, <laughs> I don't know, they just look like they're doing stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They just look like something's happening, and I really <laughs> like that about steampunk. But yes, welcome, welcome. Let's say hello to a few people in the chat. We've got Tommy T. Um, Tommy, I just want to say out loud, I absolutely loved your Comet uh, build. I can't remember the actual name. Comet Crash? I don't know what it was, I'm really sorry. But I absolutely loved it, and... We have a little something, something to show off in the uh, social for this month, but I think everyone should see it because it's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing it. And then we've also got Kit Tracer, hello, Opera Chur, uh, Mega Nico Vampiro, we've got J Dub, Red Dragons, Elizabeth Wingardium Levy Coaster, hello, Playmobil City, uh, Lorenzo DeFranco, Zeki, and we've got a few people today. And let's just kick it off and let's just go to the game. I always press the wrong thing and I get really <laughs> nervous. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at, as I said, steampunk. And to start off, this is Steampunk Coaster Station and Bar by Woody. So, because it's a station, there's no actual coaster. It's a trick. <laughs> you think there's a coaster, but there's not. So, let's, let's just get a little bit closer. Let's have a look. Because I... Yeah, you need... I think it's that one. Is it this one? Yeah. That's cool, because I've put my microphone cable against the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that one. Yes, so, this one is super cool. Uh, and I say this all the time, the only word I know is cool. <laughs> but, yes, it's brilliant. Ooh. I really like all the cogs on the side here. I'm just going to go in via the front door. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the bar. That's cool. I need a drink. Ooh. Yeah, this bar is really cool. While you're doing that, I'll say hello to a few more people. We've got Ginatha, we've got Wild Passion, Mike Gorby, Enrique Liu, Wix, hello Wix. We've got Timmy OK, um, Matthias, we've got Gwell Well. That's a strange name. It's here. Look, Gwell Well. I hope we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's correct, but if it's not, I do hope you know I'm referring to you. We've got Slow Power Gamer, we've got e Ethan Muir, um, Alice in Netherland, um, we've got Bear-tastic, uh, Lego Carnival rides. Yes, we've got a few people. Thanks for joining us today. The person who made this is totally Dutch. Because <laughs> Herr Toch Jan is on the, on the drinks menu. I, I see you, Dutch person. <laughs> All I'm seeing is Stella Artois, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. No, I really like this one. I really like the inside because there's lots of... Um, a lot of these builds, because they are steampunk, a lot of people build them alongside like a western theme at the same time so a lot of these could, could work in like either a steampunk slash futuristic uh park or they could work in a western park oh so. yeah with the train yeah it's all really cool we had some cowboys chilling downstairs yeah oh i'm inside there we go <laughs> Yeah, no, I really like this one. Um, we will go around again at night, just really quickly at the end, so you mm -hmm. can see all the builds at night. But yeah, this is cool. And I really like it when people build um, coaster stations because a lot of people think you have to build the whole coaster, which obviously is super cool, don't get me wrong. But um, I really like it when people just think, no, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to build, a uh, not a quick coaster station, but just something <laughs> that will just help people on the other side and just, you know... Oh, we're getting a lot of Dutch pride in this house. <laughs> I'm Belgian, but, um, you know, when, you're, when you live in England, that's Dutch enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. <laughs> but yes, this one, is, this one is really cool. Red Dragon says, I remember this blueprint. A very nice Western. Yeah, it is cool. That is really nicely done, guys. I know it's sad, but I love when I get a hello in the stream. No, we love saying hello to you all. It's just fun. It's a lot of fun. We like saying hello and... We just love having you here. No, we've got a great place, community. Too. Which way am I going, Shanti? Going this way around. This way. Yes. So, 
This words. one is the Smoky Toes Food Stop Restaurant by Red Panda Zach. Gonna give the good overview first. Yeah, this one is cool. That's the only way I don't know. This one is brilliant. <laughs> I love word. a good food court. <laughs> food courts are great. Yeah, no, I really like the um, the chairs in this one. Yeah. It's good you zoomed in because that's what I was thinking. But um, a lot of these blueprints have like really cool stuff just Ooh. going on on the walls. <laughs> so the every stream I'm in, I find these. These are the uh, Christmas pack stuff. <laughs> decorations that we did all the way in the beginning and every single <laughs> workshop wonderland my quest is find them and i found them <laughs> <laughs> oh you've done it <laughs> we'll end the stream now no that's Hi, um <laughs> that's really cool i like um i like like how people use like one piece how they make it work in loads of different types of themes styles yep. if they make it on you know like this sort of blueprint if it's part of like a scenery piece not a like physical piece, I really like that. One of our favorite things to do uh, when I was still working on Planet Coaster was every morning we check the Reddit and we'd be like, what are they building? <laughs> and then you'd see them use the weirdest stuff to make some assets and you'd just be like, I guess we have to give them that asset now <laughs> and just try and supply as many bits as we could to everyone because they were making all these crazy builds and it was amazing every time. Yeah, it's crazy because um, like we check like Reddit, forums, social every day. And it's so like, I always am just shocked at what people make. Just because it's just like strange. It's like when we I was saying this to the mods, uh, when we released the um theme makers toolkit and the first thing people started doing, well the first build, lest we forget, was the cube, all hell the cube. But we had <laughs> a lot of um we had a lot of like signs and uh just things like that, like things that you wouldn't think people would want in the game, but like to make it more realistic, people are like, yeah, we want this sign that says Wi-Fi or here's the exit and things like that. And I was like, that's so strange, but that's what people wanted to do, but it's just really cool. Yeah, it's that layer of realism, right? Even yeah. when you've got a very fantastical game, you want to make it feel like it could be real. Yeah, <laughs> but it was just crazy because, like, yeah, I was just really surprised because like you think like we've given you a tool to make some, some some crazy stuff. We know that you've got it in you, and then the first thing we're seeing are signs. <laughs> and it was like, oh, if that's what you wanted to do, that's cool, we just didn't know. <laughs> to be honest, the first thing we got out of the alpha was toilets, so <laughs> I was a little bit expecting the signs. Yeah. No, it was, I like, I, as I said, it's just super cool seeing everything that um, people build in the theme makes talking and just in general in Planet Coaster. But it's it's a bit it's just strange. It's just strange what people come up with because at the same time I would never come up with it myself. Oh no I'm terribly lame when I play Planet Coaster. Yeah. Well people <laughs> have been people some people in this chat have been watching me and my community park and it's terrible. But <laughs> we keep trying to improve it and that's what it's all about. But yes. Another Swiss YouTube user says, congratulations, Frontier. Happy 25th birthday. Thank you. 25 years. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go on. We've got, this one is called The Ticker Kick Flip Ride Skin by Wix. Oh, my God. And the part of the Steam description said, welcome to Ticker Town, a place where time never stands still. And I think that's just a cool pun. <laughs> I really like that. A lot of clocks going on here. Yeah. Oh, and the lanterns and the bunting. This one is like very um, full. Yes. There's a lot going on, but it's still very cohesive. And I really like the um, the like, like color palette that they're using yeah. here as well. I it's like very, that there's still the backdrop as well. Yeah. No, it's just like very. It's a very strong. Put together. Yes. Yeah, I really like it. Red mist. Hello, Tommy T says your park is amazing, Shante. Okay, there's no need to bring in some lies. It's going okay, it's going okay, don't get me wrong. But it could, like, when you, when we go from, like, my park and then the next day we're doing a workshop Wonderland when we've got loads of this stuff, you know. <laughs> but yeah, and this is, I really like this as well. It's so nice. It's strange because a lot of, um, uh, steam, steampunk builds, like, have the, um, the, what are they called? Those, like, they're not air balloons. Airships. Like, yes, yeah. They're just, yeah, they're really cool. We've got like uh, one that's on its own, like near the end, but yeah, super cool. Wix, hello. Hello, yes, I forgot you were in the chat for some reason, but yes, <laughs> I really, really like this. It's really cool. It is very nice. I have a fondness for airships as well. Yeah. No, they are really cool. Oh, look, even on top of here, it's all thought of. Yeah. Joel says, warm colors, a bit of an old slash classic theme and lots of details. 
Definitely yeah. lots of details. Poison Blade says, another creation from the amazing Wix. That's very true. Slow Power Gamer says, what is your favorite pack? Do you have a favorite one? Uh, I really like the adventure pack. I was really sad I wasn't still on Planet Coaster when they were working <laughs> on that one. Because yeah. that one's really nice. I really like the, um, the spooky one. I've said this a few yes. times. I love the spooky one. I love... The thing is, I'm scared of walking around like... If I, if I go to like a theme park in, uh, during like Halloween and like go through this go through this maze, it's already dark. It's, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, no, I'm just gonna go on that one. It's I'll all just lit wait up. That side. Yeah, I'll just go on that one over there. That's fine. But yeah, I really like seeing the like crazy horror themed parks that people make. And yep. I also don't get me wrong, I really like the Magnificent Rides collection. So I really like that pack. That's really cool. Zekin says this is cool. Love the large clock detail. Lorenzo DeFranco says, a fairly classic style for that little airship. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's really cool. And I like the steam coming out the other side yeah. of it, too. It, like, as I said, it just adds another level of uh, realism. Looks well nice. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I do like this one. Yeah, I really like the colour palette. I just think it makes it very... It just brings it yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just, it just works really well together. And I like... I just I just saw the Roman numerals on the clock. Oh, the yeah. Back. Yeah. That's really cool. It's all about the realism, and I really like that. Wow. Steampunk is very strange because it, it's... It has the, like, ability to both be like really fantasy and crazy mm. but because it's like rooted in realism i just think it's really cool yeah it's fantastic yeah joel says the magnificent rides collection is one of my favorites thanks to the grand carousel yes it's very nice i'm very much a um, builder rather than a i don't actually do the simulation bit i just yeah. build houses yeah. all the time so i always like the content packs i have a lot of building stuff yeah no i'm the same <laughs> if i like for example if i was to play something like the sims i'd really like building houses and then when it comes to playing i'm like yeah ironically <laughs> i hate building houses in the sims really that's strange <laughs> hard truths <laughs> wick says thanks for showing it guys don't thank us thanks for sharing this amazing build and i really i just really appreciate how many uh Builds you frequently post Wix. They're just really cool. And uh, none of them are like, I just think all of them are very, very unique, just in style. It's very strange how creative you are. Because <laughs> I'm absolutely not. Paul, hello, hello. Ricardo Santos says, What is the best part of your job? Oh, uh, it's so cheesy, but I like seeing what everyone does with the games we make. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, obviously, I love creating all the assets but then the best part is seeing what everyone does with them mm. which is why i'm always looking whenever i do a workshop on the land with you guys i'm always like oh i've done this one and i've built this and <laughs> oh i remember when we made this so i get a lot of enjoyment out of seeing everyone build things with the things we've made and then usually the day after i'll go to my colleagues and i'll be like they showed off this build and they had your <laughs> asset in it like you should see it so i really like that aspect of the yeah. job definitely no that's really cool yeah. yeah that's it must be strange seeing like you when you like make things you think mm. yeah this is cool they'll use it for like this reason and then when you go in you're like what no you don't <laughs> yeah but no. it's still cool <laughs> no it's super cool i was gonna say my favorite part is doing live streams because i really like seeing the community and at the moment, this is the best way to converse, so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Yeah. Should we move on to the next yes. one? This one's in the air. Ooh. This is called Helium, a flying wooden coaster by uh, Crim Salt. So in the description on Steam, they said, whoever said supports have to go down. Helium is not a flying coaster you'd normally think of. The entire coaster is suspended in midair by more than 100 giant helium balloons and boasts an impressive seven total airtime moments. This ride fits great in a hybrid steampunk slash western park, either floating high above the ground or ho um, hovering over a gulch or trench. Very cool. Okay, I just like that. <laughs> They've got, um, I think they have a few signs which are super cool. Um, yeah. Ooh. Should we ride it? Yes. I love riding the coasters. Go on, let's go. Oh, you got that's not a building, is it? No. Come on, I thought I had the cool stick. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take it. There we go. <laughs> um, should we, yeah, I was gonna say, should test we close it. it and then go back to test? Yeah. Oh. I just realized. Yeah, Tommy T says, haha, wow, that's original. Elizabeth from Guardian Leather Coaster says, wow, very original. Yeah. This is super cool. It's a bird, it's a thing. It's, it's a, a helium, helium balloon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this one is, I don't know, I've never seen a um, blueprint like it because no. of the, um, it's just a, it's just like a weird idea, but because it's made so well, it's just like brilliant. I was kind of like, I know. <laughs> I love seeing all the balloons in here, that's really good. All the little details as well, you can see when you work, work past it, it's just like all the little ships dangling from the bottom yeah. and stuff. A lot of attention to detail. Yeah. Hello Tiddy Twos. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, Point of Light says that side is amazing. Yeah. No, I really like this one. And I, as I said, I just think it's very, it's very different. Um, but it, like, it still manages to fit in the theme very well. Yep. Obviously we, we're doing a steampunk theme. It still manages to fit this, uh, the theme really well, but it's just very different from the things that we'll see otherwise in this uh, Workshop Wonderland. Yeah. But I think, um, I think they must have taken inspiration from the like, airships. Yeah. I yeah. think they must have seen the airships and they were like, yeah, these are cool. I know what I want to do with this. And then they... Just build the whole coaster, in, yeah. Just build the whole coaster. <laughs> yeah, but I do wonder how they like built the whole thing in the air. Like, did yeah. they did they build it on the ground and then say raise it, or did they just were they just doing it? Tell us your time? secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crim Salt, if you're in the chat, I don't think you are, but if you are, let's know, please. Shuva Matthew says, "Yep, this is great. Ten out of 10. 10 out of ten. Very good. Yeah." And I like the different uh, sizes and blooms too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of false cream could put into it. Yeah, Lorenzo DeFranco says, fantastic. A star that is great for that roller coaster. Chicken Maniac says, this is old. I remember this from less than a year from when the game launched. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Finally, it's getting shown. Yeah. I do wonder if, they've, if we've shown it before. I haven't seen it, so hopefully not. But I assume because it's just so, 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 so old <laughs> that um, I assume the majority of you have seen it as well. Yeah, this one is cool. That is really nice. Should we move on? Well, the next one is Windmill Wheel down there on the floor by Combat Wombat. Combat Wombat, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Combat Wombat is one of our, um, our uh, like most frequent uh, people that upload to Steam Workshop in terms of like, we've shown their parks, we've shown um, just loads of individual builds and blueprints. Mm. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel right not having a combat wombat thing in the, in, the <laughs> in the stream. But yeah, this one, Windmill Wheel. Yeah, I really like this. That's and really I like nice. the, um, the like sort of, uh, I don't know, like t tower roof that they've got all over. Like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think they're cool. Is that? Fairy tale set. Can people? I think um, tell me in the chat if it's fairy tale windows. I think. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think um, in a lot of these, people have used um, like fairy tale related items uh, just to bring in an element of a little bit like, like different uniqueness. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think in a few of the bills that we're gonna show today, there's actually a lot of um, like fairy tale slash fantasy sort of items. From Things. from base game, I think uh, fairy tale was definitely my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was brilliant. Uh, what was I going to read? Paul says it may be old, but its creativity is still amazing. Old does not mean bad. I have seen this and it's super. We weren't saying it's bad. <laughs> we were just saying I was just saying you know if if it's if it's as old as it is, I assume the majority of people have already seen it, but we did really want to show it off. There is a DeFranco says simple. Oh, sorry, beautiful, simple attraction, but with a skin that gives a fairly effective setting. Yes, and look, even here in the back. You've done something interesting by adding this to it. Yeah. So it's not just at the end, all the pipes connecting, the mechanism working. That's really nice. Yeah, I was going to say, um, a lot of people like me, I was going to say, maybe people that like look for inspiration, a really good thing is to um, put things on the back of hmm. your builds. Because where, like, I'm the kind of person that when I'm viewing it from the front, I'm just like, yeah, that's done. Nah, I didn't even see the back, but then when you like pull it in a park, having the back is just so it just improves the realism so yep. much. So makes a more complete picture. Yeah, it is really cool. Tommy T says, I see Floss's ride next. We'll get to it. <laughs> Don't <Ooh>. worry. <laughs> but yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Tilly T says, I love this one. 
This is really nice. Yeah, I love it. I like actually. I really like how the ride's going um, anti-clockwise and the windmill's going clockwise. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's somehow. I don't know. It, it looks, makes it more dynamic. Yeah, I was going to say like it just makes it look more like there, like yeah. real. Oh, it's stopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we've been like, oh, this is so nice. The ride's like, mm, it's gonna chill. <laughs> Trevor Matthew says so smart. Thomas do foul. So, I hope I'm saying it right. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's all in the details. Doors should have hinges, etc. says Paul. That's very true. Yep, yep. Well, it's just one of those things that, like, when I'm building, I'm just putting things down on, like, face value. And I'm like, yeah, that sort of tells the story. Doesn't look as good as I'd want it to be, but, yeah, it looks cool. And then, and then I actually, like, compare it to stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, never mind. <laughs> that was cool too. Yeah, let's let's move on. The next one is the Observatory Skywatcher by Floss. Yep, we know, we know you guys were looking ahead. Cheeky, you're never going to get around to it. But yes, this is the Observatory. And I don't know about you, but I actually really love observatories. Um, I'm equal parts scared and amazed <laughs> yeah. i wanted to go down as quickly as possible but also i'm enjoying the view so yeah no it's like um it reminds me of like uh the london eye the first time mm. i went on that and i was like at the top i was just like yeah this is cool but also i'm up really high yeah and i was thinking of the fantastic four film where um it falls over uh. and i was like please let me off but <laughs> no it was it like it's brilliant but yeah observatories are oh. Cool. What am I reading? Oh, Joel says, I love the details on this ride. Magnificent yes. observatories are amazing. Yeah, I really like them, but also I'm scared. The Efteling <laughs> has a really nice one, um, but I only went on it once because I was like, okay, I'll come in here, but then I want to go. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, it reminded me of, um, I went to a festival mm. and you know the... Um, I've, I, I actually only know this ride as Skies, but it's not Skies. It's the um, the like chair swing that goes up really high yeah. and you're just going round. And I went on it, like the first day I went on it, I was like, yeah, this is cool, this is really fun. And the next day I went on it and I was like, please get me off. <laughs> I can't handle this anymore, please let me off. I once got on one of the chair rides and uh, it malfunctioned at the top. <laughs> <gasps> no! And you were sat there like, <laughs> was it like did you was it really cold that day no, that's like my worst it was fear. summer so oh. it was pretty okay but you know you can feel like it's creaking a little as you're just oh, swaggling in the wind and yeah we got out of that pretty quick but um that was yeah my mum was down at the base no! of it everyone else was on there and she's got severe fear of heights so she didn't want to come on and she was just you could see her like almost hyperventilating at the bottom <laughs> it's also one of those really high ones and no, she's stop. like oh my children i'm getting nervous <laughs> no it's, i was just gonna say Whenever um, I like, chat to people about theme parks, everyone has like a, or like, you know, like a roller coasters rides, anything. Everyone has like a horror story. <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh, that's the worst possible thing I could imagine. <laughs> but yes, uh, let nice me just continue me. reading. We've yes. got Tommy T says, looks like a wall got disconnected. But I don't think it did because that's where the um, X is. Yeah. And it, it looks like that all the way around. I think it's just for um, symmetry. Um, Joel says, yes, Efteling has a floating island called Pagode. Yes, Pagoda. Pagoda? <laughs> Pagoda. <laughs> what did you say? Pagoda. Pa Pagoda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such a difficult ride to theme and floss now, dear. Very true. This is a brilliant build. Mm. Yeah, I really like the telescope. I just think it's super it's nice. cool. And I really like, um, like observatories, plan uh, planetariums. I really like looking at mm. like space-related things. So I could like, I could see myself in this sort of building, not mm. necessarily on this ride, but in this sort of building, like an old building, observatory style. Yeah, I think this one's really cool. The idea of an observatory is really apt, says Lorenzo De uh, DeFranco. Very true. The walls aren't missing. They're not. Where? Wait, They're I'll not. Go, I'll go round again. We'll tick. They're not missing. I think it's just for symmetry. I think yeah, because the symmetry. path's meant to go around yeah. there. So it's not missing. Do not worry. It's meant to look like this. Look, see? Because the roof goes around the top One, as well. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Tommy T says, Shante, me and Floss made a ride called Badlands. This ride skin is from it. Cool. Send it to me. Interesting. Yeah, let's let's continue. Ooh. The next one is um, the Amphitheatre Carousel Flat Ride. Oh no, sorry, here it is, it's this one. Yes, before we go past it. Oh. Steampunk Streetlight by Rohanna Ardas, Ardace? It's the return. 
and there was the light <laughs> gaslight yeah i just wanted to show this because um i thought we were going through a lot of like big uh builds um and i wanted to show like more scenery related items and so i thought this one was fitting it looks really cool i really like the um the like spire thing on the top i don't know if yeah. that's from if that's from the game or if they added that yeah, oh no they must have added it because christmas it's christmas stuff. stuff yeah i think we had that we had all the christmas stuff it made me really hungry because we made gingerbread houses oh don't get me started when <laughs> i was doing the um the 24 hour live stream in december <laughs> And I was I was building something, and there was just loads of uh, like sweets. Yeah. And I was like, you gotta stop! <laughs> I'm so hungry. Like I haven't eaten. I've been on the stream for eight hours. Oh. <laughs> it was good. I was eating, by the way. Before you oh. think they weren't feeding me, I was eating. <laughs> but I was yeah. I was like, I can't see these sweets anymore. It's making me super peckish. Oh. Elizabeth Wingardium Leverkusen says, "Lovely. I love small builds." Yeah. It is so nice because. You can get a lot of the really big ones, but the small ones will help you pad out a park that maybe you've already themed for the mm. most part. You need something nice to spruce it up a little. This will help you add some like unique flavor to a park without being a really big coaster that yeah. you're adding all of a sudden. I was going to say, um, like lights, because they're very like they don't take up a lot of space. What's mm. the word I'm thinking of? Compact. Um, like the more like the the box around it. Oh, mm. it doesn't. Um, because it doesn't take up a lot of space, um, but they're like they're very. You can make them so unique, and you can make them fit like any theme. I really like it when people. I like. I generally always include lights in the workshop wonderlands because I just think um, they're like kind of like the best way to show a yeah. theme. Because um, everything that you're like trying to show in one theme, when it's a small scenery item, you just have to like compact it mm -hmm. into like something really small, so you can say this is part of the theme. So yeah, I really, I really like the um, the lights. And lights do a lot off. for a park. Yeah. They do so much. Yeah. Put in hard work. <laughs> Fricker Gaming says, well, haven't watched one of these in a while. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> We're doing a steampunk theme today. Chicken Maniac says, nice lighting for a main street. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. All right, let's move on because I already started reading it out. So <laughs> this is the Amphitheater Carousel Ride by Mina. So I always... Um, I really like it. I said this a few times. I really like it when people in the community help each other by putting like arrows and yes. like signs on the bottom, so you know like what to do with paths, where to place it in the park. Um, yeah, I, I really like that. I just really like the community. Mm. They just help each other so much. Yeah, I really like this one because um, it's down. not even necessarily steampunky, but it still manages to fit the theme like really well. Like the cogs and everything around the like back mm. of this. Um, like a uh, stability pillar thing. Yeah, I really like it. Ooh. Yeah. The archways are really nice too. Yes. Ooh. I love carousels. No one ever wants to go on a carousel with me. I, I <laughs> like them. I like them in theory. And then when I'm on them, I'm like, yeah, this is cool, but, but you gotta wish really I was on that it. one over there. You got a really <laughs> yee-haw the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true you've got to beat your friends who's riding next to you you'll never move but you've got to beat them yeah that's true i guess that's true i may be a slice of pie didn't see in the chat hello hello well this is darn gorgeous that's true tilly two says this is so dainty and beautiful it is rather gorgeous wix says this is stunning yeah i don't know because it's not as i said it's not even necessarily steampunky hmm but i just thought it was it was really it like still fit the theme, but it was like the more like this is just a hint of the theme sort of right, yeah. and um, instead of all like build instead of just being like this is a full blown steampunk thing. This one's just like yeah, we've got a little hint here. Yeah, and it I will think work well like. in either a full on steampunk park or in just a more regular park. Yeah, either way. Yeah, I was gonna say um, that as I said at the beginning, like a lot of steampunk themes also fit with like western. So mm. a lot of the bills that we've shown already would, and ones that we're going to show, um, fit with like the Western theme. But this one is just a very like mm. could fit with anything, and I really like it. Versatility is great. Yeah, Kit Traces is very original. Mina, Mina, Mina's in the chat. Hello, thank you all. Yes, it's really cool. It's brilliant. That's really good. I don't know. It's something about the um, the fact that it's like open, as in it looks like it's broken as well. Yeah. I really like it. Spacious. Yeah, it looks, good view. yeah. <laughs> it looks um, like 
uh, what is the word I'm thinking of? You know the the thing in Rome. Well, yes, the Colosseum. <laughs> I was like, I can't remember what it was called. The Colosseum. Whenever I see like builds like this, where they look not like unfinished, but they look like um, like some like damage has happened. Yeah, yeah. It just always reminds me of the Colosseum. I don't know why. I just really, but yeah, I really like it. Mm -hmm. Ninja Pumpkin says, "Where is Stegs? Stegs is at home." <laughs> I'm doing. I'm hosting it today. We take turns hosting in general because otherwise we'd have to stay late every Wednesday. But we don't mind. But yeah, we just don't really take turns. This is really nice. Sergio says, beautiful work, yes. It's very beautiful. Colour is such a massive part of builds and themes. Yep, you can see all the red details here, coming back in the carousel, coming back in the other arches. In the flowers, in the yep, like yep. trees. It's just, yeah, it's like cohesive. I really like um, just general, uh, just, Themes where it just all works together. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's just cool. Right, let's move on. This one is the Steampunk Bridge by The Green Bear. Oh, yeah. I like a good bridge. I love bridges. And it's like, it's generally something that you don't think to build. In my opinion, yeah. I don't, I've never built a bridge. Meh. Listen, here we go. This is it's all about inspiration. I was just thinking maybe I should put one in the community park that we're building on you Tuesdays. Should. And but then I think, but would it look as good as this? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean we can't try, Shante. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. It does. But yeah, this one's really cool. And it's cool the whole way around. Yes. I'm not sure I placed it correctly i remember seeing in the steam uh description it said something about the water coming out the sides but hopefully it looks like it's meant to look it's difficult with them um, bridges because i never know because a lot of people it's like blueprints in general they put a lot of um detail at the bottom mm. but it's because the the top thing of that piece is meant to be in the like meant to be visible but they have to like say for a tree for example they want this colored tree but they want it to be a bush. So when I place it, I'm like, well, is it here or is it down there? Mm. Which is why it's really useful to have them um, when people in the community put like... The little sign. Yeah, the little sign saying like, no, place here. I really like that. Joel says, excellent design for that bridge. Wix says, beautiful bridge. Um, Chicken Maniac says, a little short, but amazing detail. Uh, I don't think it needs to be long though. Well, I think this is the sort of thing that if you place it, you build off it, like yeah. with the yeah. build, you just make it work. Like you, And it's one of those things that you can take apart so that you know what to do for the rest of your park. Like it shows everything that it needs to show in the one blueprint. If it was like really long, it wouldn't. You wouldn't even put it in most parks no. because it wouldn't be necessary. I would just run a path over it and yeah. then continue building just a little bit more to tie it into the rest of the park and then just leave it. Yeah, exactly. Tommy T says I've used this bridge in a park I made. It's also awesome. very mm. true. Poison Blade says so much detail. Yep. Yeah. A kind of London bridge style steampunk, says Lorenzo de Franco. I thought of that. I was like, when I was looking at it, I thought this could open mm. like that bridge. Yeah. It's polluting though. That's not good. <laughs> London <laughs> style. Um, <laughs> Trooper Matthew says, I love how it's been designed to look functional. Yes. Tilly 2 says, well, another one. So many great creations. I really like this theme. Uh, I just, yeah. Because uh, I pick themes that I'm like, interested in. Uh, the first, so for the first one I did, I think it was like a space theme mm -hmm. or like a futuristic theme actually because I saw a blueprint that I really loved and I was like, I'm going to build everything off this theme. So then when I, um, when I did that one, I was like, yes, I love everything about this. So I try and pick themes that I think like would show really well on stream but I'm also personally interested in. Yeah. So, yeah. Kit Tracer says, it looks a little bit like the Tower Bridge, but now in steampunk theme. Very nice creation. I wonder if they did take inspiration from the um, from It wouldn't the surprise London me bridge. with all the little things on top and stuff, the way it's constructed. Yeah. It totally could be. And um, I just really like the, the you know, the, like this, if you could like go in, because this like thing here. Yes. These um, like railing things. I don't know, I think it's because a lot of steampunks have like circular or like semicircle uh, things in them. Mm -hmm. And this like really ties it together. I think it's super cool. Oh, that's the bracket. I know this bracket. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks brilliant. And there's lights on here as well. Mm. Well, it's good because we'll go around again at night. Yes. Elizabeth Wingardium Leathercoaster says, I think this has been my favorite workshop Wonderland. That's brilliant. 
I may be a slice of pie. Steampunk is the best theme, period. <laughs> Wix, are, are, are you highlighting what someone has just said or are you pointing up? Because <laughs> I'm not sure. The last thing that you posted was Beautiful Bridge. I think I read it, so I'm not sure what's going on. I think you're, I think you're highlighting the, um, what someone said just before, which is fine. Mm. I just want to check that I'm on the same wavelength <laughs> as you. <laughs> Habnet TV says, hi, hello, hello. Joel says, Steampunk is fantastic. Yeah. No, I I really like this theme. I really like it. But yeah, let's, let's move on. The next one is Inventico by Extraordinaire. Oh, wow. I think... I can't remember. I was going to say, I think it's it's either Hats Fantastic or Just a Memento. That's the shop. Um, Just a Memento. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't remember because there's another one that we're going to see soon that uses hats fantastic so I was like it's one of those it's one of those just going to give you guys the overall view real quick yeah Lorenzo DeFranco says the steampunk material is there but with the steam makers toolkit they can also do, uh, do steampunk animatronics yeah that's very true Wix is just winking what does it mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah little door a lot of detailing put in here as well yeah oh it's a little yeah Joss says, wow, that is an extraordinary creation. Chilling. Yeah, just chilling. Wick says, this is so insanely good. Good. Because they put loads of um, O's. I loads like of um, O's. <laughs> incorporated the floaty bits and then connected it with all the cabling and chains and stuff. And the thing is, like, the chains, because, like, steampunk is rooted in, like, metal, mm -mm. the the fact that they put, like, very, like, metal-looking features yep. in a generally like Victorian colorful uh, build. But I know that's what steampunk is, but I just love seeing it in Planet Coaster. I think yeah. it's super cool. Robert Dibble says, hey Frontier, I'm kind of new to Planet Coaster. Great job. Welcome. I don't know if you've been in our streams. This is a watch at Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And today we're highlighting um, steampunk. So welcome, hope you're enjoying the game. Poison Blade says, whoa, that could probably work in so many themes. Second says, more fairy tale, sorry, more fairy tale piece builds. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's super cool. Trooper Matthew says, I adore it when buildings are bigger at the top. I didn't even notice, but that's yeah. very true. I agree. I should get the top down view as well. Whoa. I can see all the balloon bits. Yeah, it's like oh. it's like sprawling. It's like a sprawling build, but because it goes upwards, yeah. you're like, I don't know. It's like one of those things that also wouldn't take up a lot of space in your park yeah. because it's top heavy. The footprint's relatively okay. Yeah. Since it's expanding here, it just it looks really impressive and you need less of a footprint to get it, so that's good. Yeah, it looks impressive from all angles as well. Yeah. And a lot of the builds that we're, that we're showing today do. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying like, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that just looks great from all angles. Yeah, definitely. The roof's got so much detail in as well. Yeah, no, I was just looking at this. Oh, um, the like little glass. kraken. I spot the kraken. That's the kraken sculpture stuff. That's really cool. The fountain base. <laughs> I maybe a slice of Pisces. How did they make the ball? Do you know? Do 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 do. Do you know? Hackerman, <laughs> Hackerman. How did they make the ball? Adds the primitive circle shapes. Yeah, these ones. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. When we were putting I those think in, of that. <laughs> when we were putting those in, we were like, "Oh, they're making so much stuff of yeah. what we've already given them. We should give them some really basic things because then they can make so much more stuff, right?" Mm. And then when people started building all these things of the primitives, we were just like, "This was the best decision ever." <laughs> and then the, the creepy clown shipped with the game, oh, I yeah. believe. Have you seen the creepy clown toilet? In the blueprints. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that like, weird blue yeah. one. <laughs> that was our art lead who made it and is like, look what you can do with the primitives. And we thought, <laughs> that's not how, that's not the way to sell it. That looks <laughs> scary, <nightmare -ish>. ghastly. <laughs> no, I saw that actually. I was watching when I, because we, I did a, um, on the Planet Coaster forums, you can check it out. I did a like monthly catch up. So I was looking mm. at, uh, I was like on YouTube at the time, I was looking at some of the, um, uh, some of the like most popular videos from the last month. So I was going through the videos and I saw um, somebody did uh, a park and it was like, worst park ever. <laughs> and one of the first things they placed was that balloon toilet. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I so forgot about it. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it, was, uh, it, was, it was something that I've never seen people just place. It's one of those things that you're like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the worst park in the world. And the first thing I'm going to place is that ghastly thing. 
Yeah. Oh, Poison Blade says, I oh know, it's horrid. <laughs> Poison Blade says, loving the stream so far, give me so much inspiration. That's great. Chicken Maniac says, I'm so glad you put in those primitives. Yeah, so am I. You guys are doing crazy stuff with it. <laughs> Wick says, Extra made a scenario part for you guys to play with this kind of theming. That's really cool, but I can't load it <laughs> at the moment because we've got too many uh, blueprints to show uh, that we've got left. So if you want, um, you can send it to me and I can check it out. Um, send it to me at community at frontier.co.uk. Because oh, I'd like to check it out. Of this, now that we can <laughs> this is the Day and Night Steampunk Coaster Blueprint by Matt. But something to highlight here is on the Steam, um, I was going to say Steampunk, on the Steam description, they said probably not possible to set up the pathway to the entrance and exit. The coaster layout is clipping through the coaster station twice, and because of that, you are not able to start the pathway, but you still have a lot of fu um, fun riding this coaster in test mode. But I do want to say, when I was on the Steam uh, workshop, <laughs> I keep forgetting words. I keep wanting to say steampunk, then it throws me off the rest of the sentence. On the Steam workshop, somebody did comment saying that they made it work. So if you are interested in this, uh, please check it out. Like, don't be like, oh, no, I can't do entrances. And I don't want to just place, like, something to test. Someone did say they could make it work, so. But, yeah, this one is really cool. And um, something that we showed a few weeks ago, which I know, like, loads mm. of people have already seen, is um, when people clip the tracks into, so they can, like, come off the track. Yeah. They've already, like, built the whole coaster track, and then they do a section where it comes back on and goes around and, like, comes back on again. Oh. So, yeah, something that you can see in this one, and I just think that's a really cool idea. Very unique. It's one of those things that I just wouldn't think of myself. So... Ooh, I'm in. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we ride it? Yes. Wick says, yeah, Mad makes some epic coasters. Very true. Yeah, as I said, don't be thrown off if you think if you think you know I can't place it because in the description it says I can't do um, entrances and exits. Just please have a look. They, there is a solution. Kit Trace says, "Ewe, that weather, very interesting." Coaster fans says, "Happy birthday, Frontier Development, 25, Ooh. older than me." <laughs> Second says, "Wow, this is going to be a cool ride." This is going to be a cool ride. Trooper Matthew says, "Is that coaster based in the UK? So much rain. I don't think it rains that much here." What it would does. you say? I mean, it's pretty similar to Belgium, I find, but in England, the rain can really suddenly be like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> and whereas in Belgium, it just seems to rain all day. Yeah. But here, it's just suddenly like, bam, rain. I, I've, over the last few years, I've actually thought, like, frequently, that it doesn't rain as much as I was set to believe in my younger years. <laughs> like, like, how much people say it yeah. rains in the UK. So as I've gotten older, I'm like, does it? I don't think it does. But then again, I've only been, I've only, out of the UK, I've only been to um, Barcelona and Spain. Mm. Uh, Barcelona and Spain? Barcelona and Paris. And the weather was fine there. Although, when I went to Paris, there was one very stormy day and we watched the rain come up to us. And it was horrendous. But, yes, I don't think it rains that much. Just to put that myth to bed. <laughs> Silly Star says, hi. Cool. Cough says, hello. Welcome to you both. Okay, now. This is just really cool. <laughs> I'm just going to show it so you can see. This is super cool. Oh. Mm. So now it's night time, which is really cool. And then they did it off the track that they've already built. And then they'll come back onto it later. Which That's I just think is so good. Brilliant. Just silence. Just I was like, just gonna say, could you imagine if you got on a coaster in like the middle of the day, and then when you like came off, it was like <laughs> midnight. I'm like, what's going on here? I've been on that. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's really cool. I know. It's like I showed. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but I showed another one in my futuristic one, and it was like brilliant. And then since then, I've always kept an eye out for coaster tracks that like build off of yeah. like the main one. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. This is also a blueprint that looks good from literally every angle. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's not brilliant. an ugly spot on this thing. And it's like, it's weird because the colours aren't necessarily, like, aesthetically pleasing. Mm. Because they're, like, they're very, like, grungy sort of colours. But, like, because it's, it's 
like flush with the green, so it's yeah. very like so the contrast is there. I don't know, it's just brilliant. Trooper Matthew says, Well, that change blew my mind. Yep. <laughs> Poison Blade says, No words, it's just so amazing. That is really Giles says, Brilliant good. ride. Tommy T says, Wasn't expecting that. Okay, were you all like amazed that it was nighttime? Yes. <laughs> when I like, first did that, and I like, uh, when I came out and it was night, I was like, What? <laughs> Yeah. Chicken Maniac says, this ride can time machine. Uh, this ride can time machine is very underused, surprisingly. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. It's like something that I know exists, but I just, like, I never, I never see it. So mm. then when I was going around, I was like, what? <laughs> I completely forgot about this. <laughs> Kit Trace says, what a uh, ride. Wow. Um, Lawrence and Franco says, incredible ones that they managed to do with this roller coaster. It's longer than I thought. Sergio? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. There's an accent in there that I also have in my name, but I can't apply it to other people's names. <laughs> so, oh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, um, I also really love compact coasters. Mm. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of people say like, but it's not realistic. But I think Planet Coaster has the ability to just express both realism and just crazy stuff yeah yep, so definitely whenever i show a very something that should like when i build coasters if you've been watching my uh, community streams as we said in the stream they're very like linear the long mm. none of, it doesn't tangle with itself or anything it's just like there's the track it never like it's never around each other it's not like a snake or anything yeah a serpent even it just it just goes from the entrance to next to it and it's like a circle and then when i see stuff like this and i'm like that's brilliant that's an actual coaster right yeah in development i've always try and build coasters and most of the time they wouldn't even like get up the second hill because <laughs> I hadn't built it properly and I should be like okay <laughs> okay that's fine I'll just put down some more flat rides <laughs> oh yeah I'll just use this blueprint pre-made <laughs> that uh, one's good yeah this is why you guys need to make a lot of workshop items so I can put them down and hide the fact that I'm terrible at coasting <laughs> <laughs> but is it strange because obviously you worked on this game hmm. so then uh, when you when you build things, yeah. do you find that because you worked on it, it's easier to build things like coasters, or so, is it still difficult? Well, I was on the scenery team, so oh. I didn't do any coaster yeah, stuff. Yeah. All the people who work on coasters are so brilliant; mm. they know everything about them. I'm pretty sure all of them can make magnificent coasters, <laughs> magnificent rides, even magnificent <laughs> rides. And then there's me, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you made some cool stuff. Yeah. I built, I built the, but I built the tower that looks suspiciously like the tower from the Efteling, which is in the blueprints. Oh, and that's because it is the tower from the Efteling. <laughs> but it's weird because um, like a lot of our dev team mm. use in real life, yes. uh, rides or like coaster scenery, anything, and put them into the game. And then when people say this looks exactly like the thing, you're like, nah, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it we put that blueprint, and we had some people like. That looks like the one from the afternoon. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> no, it's not. Don't say anything. <laughs> They're on to me. Well, it's like the F25, which uh, looks very, very identical to a ride in real life. But if you know what it is, post in the chat. I'm not going to say. I like when people share their like, <laughs> knowledge. So Simon Russell says, wait, is the Planet Coaster dev team located in Belgium? Yes. <laughs> Didn't you know? No, it's located Realize. in the UK. <laughs> Yeah, we're in England. Chicken Maniac says, you really need to know a lot about real roller coasters to make something like this a lot of the time. Yep. I think that's true. And I said, I can't remember who I was talking to, it was on YouTube, and I said to somebody, like, our team, like, to make coasters, you have to know so much about them. Yep. Like, especially if you're going to make a blueprint. Like, you may think, like, oh, it's easy because they're copying a in-real-life uh, blueprint. Yeah, no, yeah. it's insanely difficult. <laughs> Just getting the angles right. Yeah. Just cresting that second hill. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's crazy, <laughs> but let's let's move on. This yes. is a shop, Miss Ellie's Loot Shop, Shop Skin by Wix. Wix, say hello if you're still here. Hello. <laughs> uh, in the description, they said here you can find anything for whatever you need, and if you ask Miss Ellie, she is always ready for telling you a story on how she took a, on an adventure and how she got all of her stuff and as she says herself there is a story too in every piece wicked brilliant i love it <laughs> love a good with a flavor text yeah 
Mr. Ninis04 says, I love this creation. Miss Ellie's Loop Shop. Lorenzo DeFranco says, I can do a visit to England if I want to. I've heard there's many free museums. That's true. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love a good museum. We love a good free museum. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I really like the science museum. Free culture is great. You should <laughs> yeah. all go to the museum. <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah, no, um, this one also has a lot of um, uh, airships. That's the word. Yes. Uh, I really like that. And I also like how um, the airships are like, tied down well they would fly away wouldn't they i know i know but like there's like another one <laughs> yeah, that we're going to show that's like <laughs> in the air which i think is really cool don't get me wrong mm. but it's like it's just cool um that it's a nice little like, detail yeah. yeah yeah lorenzo defranco says the steampunk um steampunk airships are really pretty and that's true yes wicks would never leave Wix hasn't posted since <laughs> oh no here wicks is here Ooh, one more yeah that's true <laughs> Yeah, this one's really nice. Definitely upgrades your memento shopping experience <laughs> by quite a bit. No, I um, if I was if I was in a theme park mm. or just in general anywhere, and I like was walking around just general shops and I turned the corner and this was there, I'd be like, what's this? Okay, <laughs> just get the wallet out. Like, I yep. must go in immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the, another thing to highlight is um, the realistic colours. Yes. Like, that's the kind of like, airships are. When I've seen them in real life, um, I used to live near the uh, the very famous hangars that films are made in. So, but they um, had airships in, mm. and they are this colour. So I do, I have seen airships. I do have a little bit of experience. <laughs> but yes, this is the colour they are, and I really like that. Because yeah. you can make them any colour you want, do you know what I mean? It could be bright red, yeah. but I think for realism, because... Like, as we said before, steampunk is both realistic and very uh, fantasy, futuristic-like. Mm -hmm. I just like that. I like the mix. And a lot of these builds just get the mix, like, the balance just right. Yeah. It's just yeah, yeah. right there. Second says, Wix, the steampunk god. Yeah. That's really nice. That's really cute. Yeah. Also, I was just going to say, I really like the um, the like flapping fabric. Yeah, they're using it everywhere. There's some over here as well on the tent, little curtains. Mm. Trooper Matthew says, I really like the little one. Yeah. The tiny baby, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love it. <laughs> choo choo. Yeah. Let's ride. This is something that like I wouldn't personally build because I'm not creative enough but I would love this sort of theme in my park mm, mm -hmm, definitely Wix says thank you all hearts you guys are the best all the nice comments in the chat yes thanks for showing your appreciation everyone thank you sarcasm says hey hey yeah his new one in this Black Maya park is even better ooh something to look out for that will have to get checked out yeah Right, should we go on to the next one? The next yes. one is this little light, and it's Steampunk Tree with Lights by Cascade, oh. Cascade, something like that. There's a lot of capitals that make me think I have to emphasize that letter. <laughs> but it's like Cascade, <laughs> but I think it's just Cascade. <laughs> yeah, I um. Also, I just noticed, I didn't see it before, but I just noticed that little silhouette on the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw him and was like, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so intricate. It must have taken so much time to put all this together. Well, I mean, you worked on, you worked on scenery. Yeah. It's, so how, that's just how many pieces do you think they use? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm really bad at estimating. Okay. One million. <laughs> One million years of no. Um, I'm going to say eighty. Eighty. Right. Can I click? 80. Oh! <laughs> nowhere near, but no. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even known. An attempt was made. I wouldn't have even known what to guess, though. Mm. That's what I mean. It's brilliant having the deaf team on. <laughs> it's like, you <laughs> guys... be absolutely useless. <laughs> you guys just say some stuff. You bring in... No, you just bring in a lot of experience. My problem mm. is, it's not really a problem, but my... 
I can't rely on experience because mm. I've only been here for a short time. So it's just really interesting when I bring that dev team on and they're just like, yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> didn't you know? We've got this. <laughs> no, yeah. This is a... Um, just cool. And uh, as I said before, I really like... As, uh, the word you used, footprints, was the word yeah. I was looking for when I said box. And you said footprint. I was like, yes, that's the word. <laughs> it has a really small footprint, so it just it could fit anywhere in your park, which yeah. is just great. If you need something to fill up that nook and cranny, mm. wow. And lights are just good to have in the park in general. Lights are great. Yeah. Always good to have a light. Yeah. Brings so much charm to the scene as well. Yeah, exactly. So the next one is... Steampunk Wall Fountain by Alexa. Oh, yeah. I love a good fountain. So when I like saw this, I... In my head, when I first saw it, I was thinking of an organ. Ah, uh, okay, I can kind of see that. So, yeah. I can't remember why I was thinking that. I might There might have been, like, a comment in the, um, on the, like, Steam page. Mm. But, like, straight away, I was like, yeah, I see that. But, yeah, it just works very well. That is really good. Ah, cheeky. <laughs> oh, I see. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? When we would you know, make acids, and then people would do this. Mm. And then we're like, hmm, maybe we should give them that little bit <laughs> so yeah. that they don't have to shove a vase through. But just thinking of the fact that, oh, I need the shape, let me just use the bottom part of this vase. Is What's an example of, like, when you saw something and you thought, we need to give them that in the game? It started out really small things, things like brackets or like the, the primitive shapes because people were using really big chunks of scenery and then just kind of um, putting it through the floor so only the top bit came out. Mm. So it was mostly what made us think about things in a more modular way. For instance, we could give you an entire pre-built pillar or we could give you the bottom, the pillar bit and the topper separately because then you can do what you want. You mm. can just use a pillar, you can use the toppers for any other things. It leaves a lot more creativity open for the player mm. and they don't have to, you know, shove 500 tries under the ground just to get that nice little top yeah. bit. So that's good for you guys and good for us. <laughs> Stuff like that, I think, yeah, definitely. I, I was just going to say, I think I was talking to Sam Denny and he was mm. talking about a railing um, and he was saying, I can't remember who he was talking about, but he watched a video and to make a railing, somebody, like, pushed loads of things into the ground. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I can't remember who it is. I think, oh, this is, <laughs> this is old, isn't it? Maybe you'll know. Yeah, it must be old, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember him talking about it, and I was like, my goodness. <laughs> like, to you guys do will go that, to great lengths. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, and then it's like when people use, like, 17 pieces to build a very intricate railing, or they have to use, like, just the, like, metal frame from yeah. a pre-built scenery item it's not as intricate it doesn't look as good and then it also like just takes a lot of time because they're forcing it into the ground constantly no i just think that's brilliant truth matthew says okay now i want an organ for the next dlc <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> could you imagine Zombro short film says, love your game, often spend hours even getting a good entrance. Well, then don't visit my community park where I spend an hour on the entrance and it looks horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's super good to hear. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Let's move on. The next one is Steampunk Drill Train by Finish Shave. So this one, I know like it looks like cool, but when we go around at night, it looks even better. So on, yeah, it? It, like, it's just very bright, and it reminded me of a section in Batman Arkham Knight when they're using a drill like this and it's all lit up. So when I saw this, I was like, "Yes, I love this." <laughs> but yeah, no, on its own, this is a great scenery item. And then also, if you were going to build the track off it and stuff, I just yeah, oh, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah, that's really cool. And the the cogs. Rotating. Yeah, they're like rotating yeah. sections. Makes it a bit more dynamic. Mm -hmm. I wish this could rotate. That would mm. be really good. Well, people could make that in the theme of Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. Live your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this was cool. This is a really steampunk machine, says Lorenzo DeFranco. Yes. Very true. Anyway, this one does definitely look better and nice. We'll move on and then we'll come back yeah. to it. So this is Steampunk Airship by Kurisu. So, yes. Wow. It's just very cool. And it's super intricate. It's got wings. Should we make you guess how many? No. 
I'm tempted to try, but I don't think I can. Go on, let's it's fine, uh, just let me game. let me just um Is that the wagon? I don't know. Oh, oh my goodness. Of, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> uh actually no, I don't think I will make an estimated get a... I'm going to say what's the max? I can't remember. I don't know. I'm going to say two thousand and something. That sounds sensible. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go for four million. <laughs> what are you going to guess? I'm, what are you going to guess? Oh, do I go above you or under you? That's the question. Well, um, make some guesses in the chat. Guess in the How chat. How many items do you think are in this blueprint? Joel says, wow, that was a lot of work. Lorenzo DeFranco says, too brilliant. Mr. Ninnis, I haven't seen that correct. Such a nice touch. I think 2,500. I'll, I'll, All right. I'll top you. All right. Fricker Gaming says 4K. Ooh. He might be right. Yeah, <laughs> they might be right. I mean, you could be right. Okay. Drew Tube says 400. <laughs> Elizabeth Wingardium Levico says 4,000. Joel says below. I think he meant by my 2K. Yeah. Interesting. Let's find out. Oh, it's not one building. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> well, I guess we could try multi-selecting it. Um, but I don't want to grab the... We're getting... Cal um, Caldrax says 3,300. Uh, Mr. Nins says 3,500. Oh, it's actually not that much. 1,295. We're getting lines of 3 and 4K in the chat, but like me, That's, you are uh, also wrong. <laughs> this should probably skews the estimate. Yeah. I expect well, no, Wick says this is about 1,200. Oh. Damn! <laughs> Someone got it right. <laughs> yeah. Robert Dibble says 2,750. I'm surprised people haven't been like, I think 2,719. <laughs> or oh, 4K is the max. I did think, I could remember it was four or five. The Wick says the ship is one piece. Yes. Yeah, it is. It threw us off and we're upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang! Giles is not bad. <laughs> Spanky, hello, I didn't see you in the chat. 1,350. Good guess, good guess. Yeah, that's really nice. I don't know if, if there's any people who listen to steampunk music in the chat, but um, there's an Abney Park song called uh, Airship Pirates. And it's been in my head for the entirety of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if there's a, a, a rogue Abney Park fan in the chat, then... <laughs> I have had since so yesterday me and Stakes were chatting and he said to me that he has the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song in his head mm. and, and then I had it in my head for about 10 minutes and I was like stop and then, and then it went I was like I don't want this little worm this little song worm in my head and when I was like placing these earlier I was like mm. getting the I was like the vibe yeah I was like feeling it in the back of my head and I was like no and now you said that yeah it's just come straight back yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Pirates are good. Captain Jay Sparrow. Fitting. Since we're we just go. talking about pirates. <laughs> are you guys at Frontier working on the game crashing issues? We are. I promise you we are. We don't have any updates on it yet, though. We are well aware that it's happening and the team is working on it. Yes, please make bug reports. Thank you, Joel. Love a good bug report. <laughs> <laughs> Love reading those. <laughs> no, I actually do like them. No, I think it's interesting because... Um, it's weird how it's like any any game. Mm. It's not just panic cases. Don't get me wrong. Any game, like you can have the exact same specs as someone else. Yeah. But a bug report could just uh, sorry a bug could just affect you and not them. So many things are also not reproducible. Like something could repro on your machine mm. and no one else has it. So unless I'm really good at this, I get a lot of really weird bugs at four o'clock on a Friday <laughs> where I have to it's go. It's home like, time. Hey, let me go. <laughs> hey, code person. I'm sorry, but this happened. So, yeah, if you ever get a bug, reporting it. Yeah, is necessary. Yep. The more people that report it, the more our team can work on the issue. It's yep. different if they one they can't reproduce it, mm. and two only one person reports it. That's why yep. we're always pushing for bug reports. How many things are still to be shown? Three. So this one is Old Brewery Steampunk Hellion Ride Skin. It is Hellion or is it Helion? It's Hellion. Here it is. Helion? Here's the word. Hellion. Yeah, it's Hellion. That's what I thought. Hellion Ride Skin by Absolute, but no E, 651. That's really nice. It's strange because uh, actually 
something to highlight is the pathing goes through the buildings. Well, but then I was just going to say, <laughs> I was just going to say, it's very intricate. I'm done. Mm -hmm. ah. Arrow, really nice. useful. Arrows are good. <laughs> Tell me where I need to go. My Elizabeth from Guardian Lovely Coast says, ooh, love it. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. I love uh, rides that are really themed inside and out. Uh, most of the theme parks who have those are my favorite theme parks. Yeah. Because it just adds to the entire experience. Joss is wonderful building. Very true. I want to live there. I would like to live there. It's very nice. Zoom out again so this you get the good section picture. is reminding me of Hogwarts. <laughs> it's the little towers and stuff. Yeah. Isn't it? The building Interesting. Style. Yeah. That's great, guys. Lords3 says, Can you answer my question? Please, will you add a VR roller coaster? We don't have any. What's the word I'm looking for? Plans? Plans to add that. Yeah, I don't know how that would work, to be honest. It's best just to ride it in first person and just experience it like that. <laughs> we don't have we don't have any plans for VR. And also please stop spamming the chat. Yeah, no, I really like this one. That's gorgeous. Wick says this is super cool. Baron DeFranco says, what a path, really, for nothing. Simple for a row up to the attraction. Yeah, yeah. it's weird because um, it's massive. Mm. This blueprint is actually massive for a footprint that's really small in terms of the actual ride. So, I don't know, it's just very, like, it's strange because if I was to make a ride skin, I would, like, stick it to the ride as close as possible. Mm. It wouldn't even occur to me to go, like, out like this. So I just think that's, I mean, I just think it's cool. It has a lot of life to it. Yeah, it does. Mm. Steampunk also has a lot of like very uh, moving, yeah, like uh, pieces, and I just like steam makes it so much more dynamic. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But let's move on to Steampunk Tower by Tommy T. We know you're in the chat. <laughs> Zero six seven. Hello. Yes. This is like this is a very cool scenery item. And uh, it's just very busy. Yes, everything's. But it still turning. works so strong. Yes. Like a lot of a lot of um, things that has a lot of moving pieces can look very um, just busy and yeah, just yeah. like not like too much on the eyes. But do you know what I mean? It yes. just looks like a lot's happening. But this one, for some reason, because it is very busy, it just looks incredible. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Tommy T, we know you're here. Show yourself. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> yeah, though, this is cool. And it uses the same colours as... da 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 This is Tommy T. Yep. Yeah, it uses the same colours that we're seeing in a lot of other builds. But yes. there's like a staggering of... This, this starts with like the red, and then it goes to blue, then it goes to brown, the yep. light brown, grey. Yeah, it's great. It's thought out, yeah. That's really good. And I like the uh, windmill thing. The little spinner at the top. Yes, on the yes. top. Brilliant. I kind of really want a big clock there. Mm, because it has like the little clocks going off the bottom. It's got the little ones, yeah, yeah. I'm here, hi! <laughs> yes, we know, I knew you were here, I was just waiting. I knew, I knew you'd come today, and you were like, yeah, I hope they've seen my, my comet one, I hope <laughs> they've seen it. No, I just wanted to say, I wanted to keep you here. I wanted to keep you interested. Because <laughs> I knew we were going to show you off. Let's move on to the last one so that we can go around at oh. night time. This is the Fabulous Brothers present their fantastic flying machines by Ooh. Zaffa. The problem with Zaffa's name is I always think I'm pronouncing it wrong. But we show Zaffa a lot. Oh. So it's a big issue for me. <laughs> This is really cool. Mm. Very dynamic. There's lots of moving features, like even here at the top. Oh, there's wow, all the these animatronics. Yeah. Oh, I love the band. Mm. I mean, it drove me mad during development, but I love the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some great use of airships as well. You've yeah. got the little waterfall cascading. This is another one of those blueprints that just works from every angle. Mm. It doesn't matter where you want to put it in your park, it's going to work. It's going to look really nice. There's a lot of visual interest all around. And again, a lot of um, 
Western items and pirate items, so you could totally do the hybrid you've always wanted to make. Yeah. You know. Drew Tube says, this coaster looks intriguing. We'll ride it, definitely. Yeah. This one is, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but when you are under the... The, the suspended? Yeah, when you're under the track. Yeah. So, I think, anyway, I think I'm talking about the one I'm thinking of. I think I'm thinking of the right thing. Let's go. Yep, yeah, let's in. ride it. And then we're going to go around at night time. Don't the building, there it is. Stop. Quest. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> yeah. Poison Blazers have seen this one before, but it still amazes me every time. Great coaster. Yeah, the thing about like picking a theme is that to do a theme in its, to show it off in all its glory, mm. we generally subscribe to the like most popular um, blueprints in that theme. So, but the problem with that is that it's popular for a reason, and that's because people love it. Yeah. <laughs> so people have seen it loads, but we just really want to show it off. Lorenzo de Franco says, another really interesting roller coaster. The view on this is amazing. You really get to see the, the roller coaster again when you're riding it, because you've seen it from the outside. Mm -hmm. And when you're on it, you get shown every single nice thing about it. Yeah, it's weird because um, it look, it's just a completely different viewpoint. Like when you're looking at it from, when you're like going around, yeah, this looks really cool. And then when you're seeing it like really fast in passing, hmm. you're just like, yeah, I mean, this is brilliant. Like I remember when I saw that on the outside, I think it's one of those things that also applies to coasters in real life. Yeah. Where um, like when you're, when, when you see the scenery of a, a roller coaster or a ride and you're just like, yeah, I mean, this looks great from the outside. And then you actually ride it. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, this is a completely different it's just completely different and it looks it's just totally different but it also yeah. works just the same Shu Matthew says the track colours are perfect blends right in yeah. anyway let's go around really quick at night time I'll call out all the um, the blueprints and the creators so ah. so we're back over oh so this side. yeah we're back over there so this one here is the steampunk coaster station by bar ah uh, sorry and bar by woody yep that was normal speed um can you just click the oh yeah sorry, thank guys. you thank you yes this is steampunk coaster station and bar by woody brilliant really nice yeah this is smoky toes food stop restaurant by red panda zack yeah, the colours are just cool. Yep, yeah. And, like, the light brings in so much yellow. Yep, yep. Which we'll see a lot. I mean, that's what happens with light in general. But, um, yeah, for steampunk, it really highlights the, um, the, the like, reds and things. It just bring, like, brings them out really strong. Mm -hmm. I love the lighting of Planet Coaster, says Joel. Caldrex says, felt insanely fast. No, no, no. That was... Standard speed. Standard speed. Zaffa, hello. I hope you say like please tell me if I'm saying your name wrong and please tell me how to pronounce it otherwise because we show you off a lot and <laughs> the X and the PH throw me off. Cheers for taking a look at my coaster. This is from a quite a while back, but I still love it. It's brilliant. It doesn't like age doesn't like age and time of blueprints just don't matter in Funny Coaster. Yes. Yep, let's let's keep going. The ticker kick flip ride skin by Wix. Super cool at night. Also, I really love the colouring of the just the ride. Yes, this is one of my favourite rides at night, just mm. because of all the emissive cells going on. Mm. Tommy T says, great lighting and colours at night. Yep. So the next one is Helium, Ooh. a ah. flying wooden coaster by Wix. Sorry, not Wix. I'm wrong. It's Crimson. <laughs> the colouring of this one, it's not that much. It's very uh, subtle. Yeah. But you get the lights bouncing off the bottoms of the mm. balloons, and that's really nice. Yeah. So the next one is Windmill Wheel by Combat Wombat. So cute. Again, with all the, the little string lights and stuff. Mm. Just works really well. The thing is about like string lights like this, um, you see on rides in general. Mm. So when you see them in like, panic posters as well, I just think they're cool. Because yep, people yep. just use them in such strange ways as well. Yep, definitely. Second says, I think steampunk could be actually sorry could actually be used as a source of green energy by using steam from heated water by the sun to generate electricity. Don't know, just some speculation. <laughs> well, steampunk is a subgenre of fiction. It is the future now. Mm. 
Genius, says Kit Tracer. The next mm -hmm. one is the Observatory Skywatcher by Flaus. Love the lighting here on the telescope part. If you did not see, we did a like National Serpent Day thing last weekend. So we showed a lot of serpent blueprints over the weekend. And the last one that we showed was the amazing, amazing Snake Charmer by Floss. If you haven't seen it, please, please, please check it out. Because if you are doubting Floss as creator, which you absolutely should not, but if you're just like, oh, I'm, like, I'm new to Planet Coaster, I don't know who to check out, one of the people you should be checking out is Floss. Also, many of the people that we've shown in this <laughs> workshop one's land today. But yeah, Floss is, Floss is just super cool. Very, um, just very creative. I like many people that we've shown, but I was just thinking that we just showed Floss on social. So, mm. good plug. Oh, the lights on the bottom of the observatory. Yeah, brilliant. Uh Oh, we always feel the light. Again, this is Steampunk Streamlight by Rohanna R. Dace. It's A-R-D-A-I-S. If you know how to spell it, I mean, say it, not spell it, I just spell it. Please let me know because I don't know. I'm bad with names. My name is hard enough. So <laughs> after that, names are just difficult. So the next one is Amphitheater Carousel Flat Ride by Mina. This one's so gorgeous at night as well as during the day. Yeah. A lot of love for this one. Yes. That we saw earlier. It's brilliant. Just works anywhere. Yep, yep. Works in any. Really gives that theater vibe with the spotlights as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the... I just like the theater because it, it is like a theater. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. It's just brilliant. Mina, very creative. Tommy T says, Floss builds amazing things. Very true. This one is... Steampunk Bridge by The Green Bear. I like the cool lighting on this one. Also, now I said The Green Bear and we're looking at it again. It looks green. <laughs> it does. Even though it does, it does look very like grey ah. blue, but when I said the green bow, I looked at it and I was like, green! Yeah. Joss is wonderful. It's all so pretty. Yeah, it's brilliant. So the next one is Inventico by Extraordinaire. Dramatic light from below. Uh, but as we said, this one is top heavy and I mm. absolutely love it. And because it's top heavy, it looks extra good when you've got all the lights pointing up against it. Yeah. This really works well. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. So bright. Trooper Matthew says, stunning pastel colours. Yeah. So the next one is Day and Night Steampunk Coaster Blueprint by Mad. We're not going to ride them again at night because we are running over. And this so one, technically, we ran We did. Night. We yeah. did day and night. <laughs> That's the good thing about this one. So, yes, the next one is Miss Ellie's Loot Shop Shop Skin by Wix. Again, with the lighting from underneath coming through, it just really works well. All the little lanterns give it just that little extra touch. Mm. Very nice. I'm always happy when I see that people have spent time and attention to lighting as well. Yeah. It's one of those things that I absolutely overlook. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Ninnis says, insane. And very true. So, the next one is Steampunk Tree with Lights by Cascade, or just Cascade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's cool. Nice. See this, one as well. this one is Steampunk Wall Fountain by Alexa. Jolts are so many details. Yeah, that one. This mm. one as well. All of them. All, All of them, them are no, so detailed. True. Yeah, it's true. And then there's me, like, walls and a window. Yeah, but, I mean, like, you worked on scenery. <laughs> that doesn't make me any better. No, but I was just going to say, like, like you worked yeah. on scenery, so you, like, it looks cool. But you made it cool to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> and then people take it and... I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. And then people take it and just do crazy stuff with it. Yep. So the next one is Steampunk Drill Train oh, yeah. by Philly Shave. As I said, when we were looking at it and I was like, we need to see this one at night. Yeah, this one's really cool at night. Wheel. It's just a great scenery item in general. Yeah, this is really cool. It definitely fits with the theme. So the next one is the airship way up in the sky. Steampunk <laughs> Airship by Kirisu. That we completely didn't guess the actual But well, we were close. The, the Everyone chat was, was close. close. The chat was close. No, the chat I was we really were, far off. I said 2,000, right? Yeah, you, you yeah, And close. you said 2,500. Yeah. And then the chat was saying 4,000. Mm. So, ha! <laughs> but no, we did have... No, 4,000 was, was the max, they were saying. No, no, they were like, oh, I'm okay. looking, we're talking about 3,000 and 4,000. But I think Wix and I think it was Spanky, I'm not sure, both got close, so... Yeah. Closer than us. That sucks. <laughs> Don't be modest, Lisa says, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is Old Brewery Steampunk Hellion Ring. Oh, sorry, Hellion Ride Skin by Absolute, but no E, 651. So when I say Absolute, no E, I just mean it's A-B-S-O-L-U-T. Like, 
the drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dylan Swear says, this looks so amazing. It all looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, this I'm just getting very Hogwarts vibes. Yes, yeah, with the little... So, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. I like that bridge. Just everything. Very yep, Hogwarts-y. Yep, yep. Yeah. The next one is Steampunk Tower by Tommy T 67 Yep, this is very cool. Looks really good lit up at night. Also, if you didn't know what I was talking about when I was talking about the Comet ride that uh, Tommy T made, it's all over our forums. People have been raving about it because it's absolutely brilliant. There is a YouTube uh, video as well. So, Tommy, if you're in the chat, please plug, just tell us what the, I don't know if you can post links, I'm not sure, please tell us what the title is so people can look for it because you need to see it. It's absolutely incredible. Yep. And then the last one is the fabulous brothers present their fantastic flying machines by Zaffa. That's really nice. Jell says, yep, a magical creation. The flaming train as well. I don't know, it's brilliant. It's just, everything's there. It's sprawling, yep. but it's compact. It's got so many different sorts of themes going on, but it all works together. This one's very, very good. Yep. Yeah. Some blue lighting on the waterfall down there as mm -hmm. well. No, it's great. Very good. Yeah. Uh, well, well, that's it. We've done, we've done what we set out to do today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, as I said before, this was a, I'm careful because I've got your mic. Anyway, <laughs> this was a steampunk theme. If you liked it, let us know. Because I really liked the scene. What did you think? I really enjoyed it. When you when you said, "Oh, I'm doing steampunk theme tonight," I was like, "Oh yeah," because <laughs> <laughs> it le it le lends itself really well to very intricate builds, but you can also go pretty minimal with it. So I was really looking forward to seeing what the community had put together for it. Um, so yeah, I was really happy that this was the theme. I'm I got glad to come you back thought on. so yeah. because I, I I've said I really love having the dev team on because. They just bring a completely different perspective. So it was really cool hearing your, like, you talking about the... The creepy clown. <laughs> no, I was going to say, you just talking about scenery in general. And mm. it was fun, it was fun guessing. Yes. It was fun guessing with you. I'm terrible yeah. at guessing, but it was fun. <laughs> Freaky Gamer says, can't seem to find the futuristic workshop Wonderland. It should be back from, I want to say, early November. Or it was on end of October. Tommy T, we shall wait for you to post the link so then we can move on <laughs> but yes thanks Shante and don't thank me I really want to show it off because it's brilliant but yes we'll go back to this screen I'm Shante this is Lisa thank you for coming to the stream today I hope you enjoyed it if you like the theme let us know a wonderful stream tonight thank you says Trooper Matthew very very kind of you with Elizabeth Wingardium Levy Coaster thank you for the stream it's our pleasure we had a lot of fun with you guys and I'm just I hope you have enjoyed it Two Koso says amazing quality builds again. Yes. No, I think it's brilliant highlighting the community. Yep, yep. yep. You I guys really are like... so much better than anything we can ever do. So <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, look, there's the link from Joel. Here's the meteor shower video from Tommy T. Please, please, please take a look at it because it's absolutely brilliant. But I just wanted to say, you know, thank you so much for coming to the stream today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and we are back, when I say we, I mean me, on uh, <laughs> next Tuesday for a community. Uh, for the community park stream we're working on a park um when i say we i just mean me <laughs> and and some community members and is it going well i'll leave it to you to decide zappa says cheers again wick says lovely stream tonight ladies uh robert dibble says night trooper matthew says have a great night tommy t says thanks john and shante it's absolutely fine second bye great stream it was our pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.